US scholarship agencies are a scam. And in this video, I'm gonna lay out why they are a scam and why 99% of them are a complete waste of money and a disservice to the amazing opportunity that going out to the States on a scholarship is. They can't do that with every single player that they're trying to get over to the States, even though they probably are promising that kind of service to you. So why listen to me? Well, I played in America for four years on a full ride scholarship. I was on the 2019 MLS draft list with only a select few other international players. And I signed my first professional contract in the USL League One during my last semester at university. I've spoken with many agencies that help players get out to the States, a lot of US coaches, and I know the industry pretty well from playing out there. And not all agencies are a scam. There are a lot of very good agencies out there that help players get over to the States, put them at universities which are gonna be good suited to them, and generally do a very good service for their players. But there are so many agencies that charge a hideous amount of money and just do an awful job of getting players over to the States at the right universities for those players. And they charge so much money for a service that is so simple and so basic that 99% of players that wanted to go out to the States on a scholarship can easily do themselves. It's very, very simple. Now the premise of these US scholarship agencies is they are just the connector between players that want to go to university in America on a scholarship and then the universities themselves and the coaches that give those scholarships. That's all they are, is that connector, that piece that puts you in contact with those universities. And that, that connector piece connection they have with those coaches in the States can be really valuable. They can look at you as a player, see how well you play, what your tendencies are, the style that suits you best, what you're like as a person, what kind of coaching you need, and then also look at you from an academic side and see what degrees you want to do, how clever you are, and what kind of academic environment that you need to be in and the support that you need. And then also look at you as a person and as a human and see what kind of environment you would do best on and off the pitch. And then they can dive into their connections over to the States and match you up with a program in a university that is gonna suit you really well. And then get in contact with that coach and see if they're looking for your you, the type of player that you are. And in those scenarios, that connector piece is really important because there are parts of the States, the universities, the college game, where it is tough to find information. And so that connector piece of piecing you with a program that's going to fit you is really valuable and is worth then paying for that connection and especially for these top programs in the states where everyone wants to go and having a connection or a relationship with one of those coaches is really valuable and not many people have those kinds of relationships or connections with those top programs and naturally those top programs have thousands maybe even hundreds of thousands of people trying to get in contact with the coach and the programs and so it's really tough to do. And again, in those instances, having or paying for a connection with an agency that has a relationship with those coaches and those programs is probably worth paying for, but only if you're the right fit for them. And you might not get that opportunity or that connection without paying for that. However, it's important to understand that a lot of these agencies are working with a lot of players every single year. Some of these agencies, even into the hundreds of players per year that they're trying to get out to the States, there's only a finite amount of top programs, top division one programs in the country. And there's only a finite of top division two and, and NIA universities as well. So not all 100 players that they have within their agency can they phone up a coach and say, look, this is the player, X, Y, and Z attributes, as a person, X, Y, and Z, and it'd be a really great fit. Have a look at this and see what you think. They can't do that with every single player that they're trying to get over to the States, even though they probably are promising that kind of service to you. Not only is that just impossible with, you know, even 40 players helping over to the States, you can't recommend all 40 of those players to one program. You have to spread it out between different programs. And so what happens if the majority of players who are at these agencies aren't getting recommended by a phone call to a specific coach? How are these agencies getting in touch with universities and programs in the States? Well, it's through mass emailing and an email with a complete list of all the players that they're working for that year, the name, position, how much scholarship they may be looking for, what's their previous club they've played for, and a link to a highlight video. And that's going out to hundreds of coaches. And your name is in a list with 
you know, tens, 20, 30, 40, even maybe a hundred other players that that agency is trying to ship over to the States. And there's not just one agency doing that, it's multiple agencies doing that to multiple coaches across the country. And so you're paying thousands of pounds effectively for your name to get put in a list with a bunch of other players emailed over. And for me, that is just a complete waste of money. It's something that you can do yourself and actually do much, much better. And then what happens with this is that any university that has this sort of any nibble or interest in you, they then will tell you, and that's how you then get linked to the universities. And they're hoping that multiple universities will nibble at multiple different players. And then that's the way that they can connect you with universities. But with this method, there's no thought in you as a player and as person and how it correlates to the program that they're putting you in touch with. A lot of the time it's just the numbers game. It's how many universities can we get a nibble from to send it to you and say that they're interested. And then how many of those universities can we get an offer for and send it to you? Often the thought of, okay, what kind of scholarship do you need is not even taken into account. The type of university it is, the type of program that it is, the coaches, how many internationals on the team. There's so many different factors that need to go into the thought of what university is right for you as a player. And as I said a moment ago, you can actually get yourself multiple scholarship offers to universities that one, would be a good fit for you, two, that you actually want to go to. And with this is universities that you've selected based on a criteria that you're looking for. So how would you do this? You can target simple things like location of the university, what division they're in, how big is the university? What's the playing style of the university? Do they have foreign coaches, an English coach, for example? What degrees are offered? How is that degree looked upon with the wider scale of the whole states? And many other factors that you need to consider when choosing a university. So if you would like me to create a video showing you the step by steps of how you can do this and how you can reach out to coaches directly and get in conversations and get multiple scholarship offers then comment below and I will see if there's enough interest for me to create a video for this. If you found this useful, then please do like and subscribe. It helps the channel out massively. And hopefully there's enough interest and I'll show you how you can get multiple scholarship offers all by yourself to universities that you would actually want to go to.